In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a square root function, problem type 1. We're asked to graph f of x equals the square root of x plus 4. And to do so by plotting four points on the graph of the function, that needs to include the leftmost point and then three additional points. So I'll create a table to keep track of these. And to start with, I'll look for the leftmost point. And to determine the leftmost point in a square root function, I know that what is underneath the square root has to be zero or a positive number. So the smallest it can be is zero. And that means that the smallest x can be, since x is the only thing underneath the radical, is zero. So our leftmost point is going to occur where x equals zero. But then I'm also told to find three additional points. And since my x is underneath the radical, I'm going to choose three points for x that are perfect squares. So 1 is a perfect square, 4 is a perfect square, and 9 is a perfect square. And with that, I'm all set to begin to find my first y value where x equals 0 in my function f of x which is y, I'll say is equal to replacing x with 0 would give me the square root of 0 plus 4, and the square root of 0 is 0, so when I add the 4, my y value is 4. So I have my first point, which is where x equals 0 and y equals 4, and then I can move on to my x equals 1. This time replacing x with 1, I would have y equals the square root of 1, which is 1, plus 4. I now have y equals 5. So when x was 1, y is 5. That takes me on the graph to the point 1, 5. And I can continue to x equals 4, this time substituting 4 in for x. The square root of 4 is 2, plus the 4 on the outside would give me 6 for my y value. So when x is 4, y is 6, and lastly substituting in 9. Where x equals 9, I have the square root of 9, which is 3, plus 4. And from the last couple of examples, you can see why it was helpful to choose perfect squares for x, because each time I could get rid of the radical completely. Here, because the square root of 9 is 3, I can then add the 3 and 4 to be 7. So I have the point 9, 7. Graphing that, I go to x equals 9, y equals 7. Using the graph function feature, I can see that we have a general curve connecting those dots.